Hi, Twin Flames, and welcome to your reading. This is the Dream Medium. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So this is for Twin Flames, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. We're going to be seeing what's currently going on in your connection, all right? What's going on between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine? What's happening? Okay, Four of Swords came out. These cards fell out. Okay, Four of Swords. What is going on? What's going on currently in the Twin Flame journey between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine? Wow, King of Pentacles. All right. Seven of Wands. Hmm. All righty. So we have the Four of Swords, King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Clarify the Four, the four of Swords. So the Four of Swords talks about being mentally exhausted. All right. Someone here has laid something to rest. Yeah. I feel like this is your energy. This is the energy of the Divine Feminine. The Divine Feminine has laid this situation to rest. The Divine Feminine, this could be, I feel like it's the Divine Feminine, to be honest, but you're more than welcome to reverse the, reverse the role, reverse the energies. Oh, Lord. Divine Feminines. Oh, wow. You are about to go towards something here, like something incredibly abundant and amazing. This is an opportunity that you do not want to overlook um, or reject. Um, with the Four of Swords here, I feel like this is the Divine Feminine who has laid this situation to rest. Whoever this is, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, apply it or reverse the roles if it's needed. But with the Four of Swords, this is the energy of the partner who has laid this situation to rest. And when I say this situation, I mean this mental conflict, you know, in this twin that, that was caused in this twin flame connection. No more hurting your head over something that you cannot change. No more having sleepless nights and worrying over something that, that you have no control over, especially over something that has already happened. I see forward movement for the twin that is embodying the Four of Swords. I see someone who is healing. I see someone who is getting over something that really took a mental toll on them. All right, laying things to rest, um, which is the best thing that you can do when you don't have control, you know, over the situation. What more can you really do? Worrying about it, being frustrated about it isn't going to do anything. Sometimes you just have to leave the situation alone and focus on yourself. And that's what you're doing with the nine of pentacles here. This is my single energy. This is amazing. The nine of pentacles is a single energy. This is someone who is highly abundant because the maximum pentacle is 10 and you have all nine here all by yourself. So you're not only abundant, highly abundant, but you're also independently abundant where you don't need anyone. You are feeling very content with where you're at in life. You do not have any more codependencies on your twin. This is someone who is focusing on themselves, okay, and themselves only. You could be focusing on work. You could be focusing on fi finances or just focusing on bettering yourself. I just don't really see you caring much or giving much of your attention to this journey anymore, you know, you're worrying about yourself, you're building yourself. And that is what you need to do. Because regardless of, you know, what titles you have put on this connection, 
if you believe that it is a soulmate journey, then you must also realize that both of you have your own separate journeys to go on. And you cannot keep on burdening yourself and worrying over something that is for their journey, is for them to go through, not you, if that makes sense. Because I feel like sometimes, you know, one twin will end up taking on the burden of the other twin. You have your own journey, you have your own problems, you have your own lessons to learn as well. So you have the fool here, which is a risk taker. Actually, it was the page of pentacles, then the fool. The page of pentacles, pages represents a form of communication. This is communication that is going to spring you forward. Let me say that again. This is an offer this is communication, an offer that's going to be communicated to you. It's going to be clear that it is a love offer. You won't have to question it, hurt your head over it. This person will make their intention so clear to you about what it is that they want from you, how they feel, what they look forward to with you. This is an abundant offer that is coming in for you. And it's going to spring you forward because you've already done the work to release what isn't yours to carry and to work on yourself. Because you did that, you have proven that you are ready for something abundant. So with the fool, this is you here. This is one of the twins. Most of for most of you, this is the divine feminines, but like I said, it's general, so you can reverse it if it's different for your situation. So with the fool here, this is the twin who is now ready for something new, and they're taking this risk towards this abundant new beginning here that's about to start between them and an individual, okay? <clears throat> Clarify the king of pentacles. Let's see who this King of Pentacles is. Wow, the Two of Cups came out. The, the King of Pentacles is the King of Abundance. Okay, this is someone who is loyal, committal, mature, stable. This is someone who is so abundant and wants to share the, their abundance with you. For the king of pentacles to come towards you, that is a lot of luck because you're dealing with an individual who will give you the commitment that you want or have been wanting very easily, that you will get that commitment, that solid commitment with so much ease. The king of pentacles offers a beautiful, easy connection because what he wants is also what you want. So you won't have to cry, you won't have to struggle, you, don't, you won't have to teach him how to love you. This is someone who is highly abundant and committal. So they're gonna give you those things naturally. I always say the king of pentacles is so impressive because he doesn't have any competition. No one is better than the king of pentacles. So when you have someone who carries the King of Pentacles energy come, come forward, it is indeed a guaranteed, abundant offer. In Clarity of the King of Pentacles, let's talk about the Two of Cups that came out, which is so beautiful. Even if you look, these are the same people. This King here is also here as well in the Two of Cups. So with the Two of Cups, this is, you are about to start a new beginning with a king of pentacles. This is literally your counterpart. This is your other half. The two of cups came. The two of cups rarely comes out. I really can't remember the last time I saw the two of cups when using this deck, even when using my other writer tarot deck. It, it rarely comes out because the two of cups represents a requited love, a love that will be reciprocated, an equal give and take love. The kind of love where what you want is also what, what they want, 
where the both of you are interested in each other and willing to put in the work together. And so it is absolutely a blessing to find a two of cups kind of love. Like I said, this card rarely comes out. I can't remember the last time it came out. And I'm not even trying to exaggerate. Maybe like two months ago, <laughs> literally, it does not come out often. This king of pentacles is going to give you exactly what you want. This is your perfect match. This is your two of cups. So you have the queen of swords. And look what's on the back of the deck here. You have the emperor. It's not a coincidence because here's what's going to happen. Okay. Oh my gosh. The message is so clear. Even the placements of the card, because I didn't notice the emperor until I had noticed the queen of swords, which tells me that they go together because right when my eyes looked at the queen of swords, my eyes then went to the emperor. And then I looked at, I started to observe these two cards here, the queen of swords. Let me take out the emperor. Tell me more about this queen of swords. The queen of swords is someone who is very, um, who can be very cold, very distant. This is simply someone who does not want to tolerate the BS. Okay. Yeah. This is someone who does not want to tolerate the BS because she's been hurt before. She's been hurt. That's why you see her in her position. She's holding a sword because she's waiting for that same person who hurt her to come forward in order to give them a piece of her mind. And look what's on the back of the deck. You have the Ten of Swords. This Queen of Swords here was taken advantage of and was betrayed. The, the Ten of Swords represents the ultimate betrayal. This is very painful here. This queen felt, felt 10 swords to the back. That's why she is the queen of swords. She is now cold because she, she's cold, she's distant, she's cautious because she doesn't want to get hurt again. These cards are not gender specific, by the way. These are energies that anyone can embody. Behind the 10 of swords is the empress. So who, whichever twin this is, isn't just naturally a mean person, no. Something had to turn them this way because before the heartbreak, before the betrayal, if I can pick up the cards with my nails, before the heartbreak and the betrayal, they were actually the empress. The empress is someone who's very nurturing, very kind. This is a caregiver, a person who truly wants to help others, who give to others. But unfortunately, it looks like this empress was taken advantage of due to her empathetic nature, due to her being so kind and caring that she was taken advantage of, misused and betrayed, mistreated. And that is why she is now the queen of swords. When I clarify the queen of swords, look, you have the five of swords and you have the devil. You had to... This queen of swords had to remove herself from a situation that was not serving her well. She had to defend herself, protect herself by removing herself, by severing ties and cutting certain people and situations out in order to do what's best for her and to prioritize herself. Why? Because the situation was toxic. The devil came out. The devil card represents toxicity. Whoever it was that she was dealing with was very, very toxic. And as I look at the devil, I even hear the word controlling. This is someone who was so controlling, who wanted to have control over every aspect of this connection that they ended up self-sabotaging something so beautiful. And look at, look at what, like I said on the back, look, you have the emperor. The queen of swords isn't cold to the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is someone else. The king of pentacles is someone new. Oftentimes, the king of pentacles is represented by someone, by new love. New love, you know, 
is the king of pentacles because the king of pentacles is the king of abundance. He's so committal, loyal, mature, stable, you know? So if your person was the king of pentacles in the past, you wouldn't have to be. You wouldn't be the queen of swords right now. Excuse me. Which is why I know for sure this is someone new. The king of pentacles is someone new for you. But look who is also still here. Your divine masculine, the emperor. The divine masculine has been showing up as the emperor for months now. And a lot of twin flame reunions are about to happen very soon before the year ends for most. So here's the emperor as well. The king of pentacles and the emperor are two completely different people. I want you, if you are the twin who this happened to and it caused you to become the queen of swords... I want you to give love a chance because you have a king of pentacles here and he doesn't deserve to meet you as the queen of swords. He deserves to meet you as the person who you truly are, which is the empress, which is someone who is kind, open, and nurturing. Don't be so stuck on being cold and waiting to deal with this emperor with this divine masculine to the point where you end up coming off as someone who is cold to this king of pentacles and you may even overlook such an abundant partner here the king of pentacles you have if you want new love you must make yourself available open yourself up because this coldness that you have specifically towards your dm towards this emperor here you don't want some this king of pentacles who can give you that commitment to see you as a queen of swords. You're going to scare him off. He's going to be like, oh my gosh, she's not open. This person isn't open to new love. Let's talk about this emperor. Because he is also the knight of cups. Okay. He is also going to be coming in. Most likely around the same time as the King of Pentacles. So definitely get ready for that. Okay. You have the Ten of Wands here. I want to clarify the Knight of Cups actually. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Yeah, coming in to give you clarity. This is your DM, definitely. Can't be the new person. Can't be the king of pentacles, you know. The ace of swords represents clarity. Your DM, who is the emperor, and will be approaching you as the knight of cups. He is the emperor because he's going to be so determined. The emperor is someone who likes control who likes dominance, who likes to have the upper hand. And with the Knight of Cups here, this is how they will uh, come off to you as the Knight of Cups. Knights are known to be charming, you know, passionate, but they're also known to be players. They're also known to be unstable, unreliable. So even though this person is so determined, your DM is, is embodying the emperor to get things under control with you to come in. The approach that they will use will be one of one of the um, Knight of Cups. So you may not even take your divine masculine seriously. Although I see here that they will be coming in to clear the air with you, to give you clarity, to get you to see something differently. Why? Well, why are they coming in? Well, Ten of Wands. They're not over you. They're still stuck in the past with you. 
this divine masculine is absolutely burdened by what happens in the past. They, they are not able to release the past with you at all. They're still holding on to this connection and it's weighing them down, which is why they're coming in because they're unhappy with how things transpired or ended between the two of you. And things most likely ended badly because clarity is needed. They feel the need to give you clarity on something. They want victory, six of wands. They want victory with you for there to be a resolution. Look what's on the back of the deck, you guys. Wow, you have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups talks about greed, okay? Yes, the Nine of Cups can represent wish fulfillment, but as a reader, I often see this card as someone who is greedy or self-indulgent, okay? Someone who... It's like they do things to make themselves feel good and they don't often think about how their actions affects other people. It's all about them and what makes them look or feel good. So this is someone who can come off as very selfish, greedy, you know, needing, always needing more and more of something or someone in order to feel good. You have the moon that's also here. Repre the moon was behind the nine of cups representing secrets. So there's a lot of ego. There's still a lot of ego within this divine masculine. And the emperor is a very egotistical individual. He likes control and power and dominance. And this divine masculine may not be coming in as you expect them to come in. They may not be coming in vulnerable. Don't expect them to come in with a 10-page written love letter because there's still some ego here. Their intentions are good, definitely. They want to clear the air. They do want you. But why are they not willing to show you how they deeply feel? The moon is here. They're still going to be hiding how deep their emotions and feelings are. Because this is someone who is filled with lots of pride, ego, greed, and selfishness. You can tell that I'm even getting frustrated. But anyways, don't forget you have your king of pentacles right here. Right in front of you. Pentacles represents abundance. Pentacles are the most valuable things in tarot. And you have someone new coming in as the king of abundance, the king of pentacles. You have the opportunity to leave behind a painful past and to go towards an abundant future. But it is ultimately up to you. Let's look at the seven of wands. Clarify the seven of wands. Oh, wow. Four of cups. Four of Pentacles. Okay, clarify the Seven of Wands. Oops, death. I know exactly what this is, Page of Wands. I see it, oh, I see it as clear as day. I see it so clearly with the seven of wands here. Prepare yourself, divine feminines, because this is literally you. You see this woman here, the fool, and I said this is you taking a risk and going towards something new and abundant after getting such an abundant offer by this king of pentacles here. This is the same woman who is here having to stand her ground and to defend her decision to take a risk and move towards something new. Because you will have to, you will be the seven of wands. You will have to embody the seven of wands energy because there's going to be many temptation from the emperor. Remember, the emperor is very controlling. This is someone who likes things to go their way. They like to have the upper hand. And when the emperor does not get what he wants, he becomes very strategic. 
So this emperor may try to tempt you, may try to guilt you, manipulate you, pressure you, overwhelm you, you know, unload their baggage onto you, start problems with you, start arguments with you. Whatever it is that the emperor will do will cause you to be the seven of wands, to stand up for yourself, to fight against the BS and anything that wants to hold you back and keep you in the past. In clarity of the seven of wands, you have the, you have the four of cups. You're going to be rejecting the divine masculine. I see it so clearly. Four of cups is rejection. And that is, that is when the fight is going to start with the divine masculine because he's going to start doing things to keep you in the past with him. And oh my gosh, four of cups and now the four of pentacles. Yeah, you'll be rejecting You'll be rejecting the, the divine masculine. You are the four of uh, pentacles here holding back your pentacles, protecting your pentacles, protecting yourself because you don't want to give any more of yourself to someone who had abused you, mistreated you. The four of pentacles is literally someone who sometimes, you know, this is someone who is seen as someone who's selfish, but I feel like this is you literally valuing your worth, your time, and protecting it and not wanting to share your abundance with this individual anymore. You're going to be holding back by rejecting them. And they're going to get very angry with you. That's why I keep on saying you're going to be the seven of wands here having to defend yourself and defend your decision. And look, you have the death. The death represents a transformation. This is you putting an end. The death is literally putting an end to your past and moving towards something new. That's what the death represents, a transformation. This is you doing just that, putting an end to your past, transforming your life for the better and going towards something new and highly abundant. And man, will you have to defend yourself? You will defend your, have to defend your decision to do so. Because this emperor, this divine masculine is going to be very strategic. Okay. And this is what I'm seeing. Really, the majority of twin flame journeys are going to end out this way. Just because someone is your twin flame doesn't mean that they're meant to be a romantic partner. Remember that. Twin flame is, you know... Another form of a soulmate, I guess you could say, in a sense, you know, this is the two of you come from the same soul and separated, which simply means that the two of you have similar life journeys here on earth, filled with very similar pain, similar lessons, but it does not automatically mean that they are supposed to be your life partner. That's the plot twist that a lot of people don't know. There's a difference between a twin flame and a life partner. There's a big difference. And sometimes when your twin is unable to successfully complete their journey and you have successfully completed your journey, what are you supposed to do? Wait on them forever? No. That is why most times when the when the other twin fails to successfully complete their journey, well, their twin is given a new partner, which is the king of pentacles, who will be much more suitable as a life partner for them. So that is what I see, okay? Um, also on the back page of wands, expect lots of communication from the emperor, from your divine masculine, trying to communicate with you, persuade you, trying to break down, excuse me, break down any barriers, break down your guards that you will have up against them, them wanting a resolution with you, but I feel like it'll be too late. Okay. Um, so I feel like um, I'm going to do an extended and we'll talk about the King of Pentacles, this new person. Some of you have already met them. Others of you, very soon you will. Give it a couple days to a few weeks, you will. 
okay? Um, but in the extended, we are going to look more about the King of Pentacles and who they are and what they will be like, what the connection will be like and what else you need to know about them, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember that this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You're always welcome to visit my website to book a private reading. The link is in the description box. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys so much, all right? And take care.